So how have you done in an airport? I know what happens to me, but what happens to you? <laughs> For me, everything, all the noises, because airports tend to be noisy, people talking, walking, carts going by, all this kind of stuff just snows me under. So it's like I can't function, <laughs> absolutely cannot function. So, you know, one of the things that I do right away is, you know, on my ticket, when I am um, scheduling the, the flight, it has a section down below where you can mark any disability. So it has a list, not an infinite list, but it has, I think here I'm impaired or deaf. And so uh, they mark, I mark that. And I'm also in a wheelchair, so I have to mark that. Um, but, um, so that's, that's a start. So some areas they have put loops, hearing loops, and they have, um, they're working on some new technology has to do with Bluetooth or Bluetooth-ish. So, but I haven't been to any of those airports yet that have that. So, um. So I'm just snowed under. I don't hold back, folks. I don't hold back. And I let the person at the desk, I'm hearing impaired. I might not hear any, uh, almost anything you're saying, but I might ask for repeats. Because if she says something or he says something that's important, like um, your flight has been canceled, the gate has been changed, <laughs> I need to hear those things. <laughs> And so do you. So, um, you know, I just let them know right off the bat. And so I do ask for a lot of repeats. It just, it's just what's going to happen. The other thing that I have been doing is um, there is a, a program called uh, Hidden Disabilities. And I'll put the link down below. But what they have done, and this is spread throughout Europe, and it's spread throughout the United States, and it's really good. Um, I purchased one because I want to support their program. I think it's good. Um, it has sunflower band here, and it has an ID. So with your picture, and they can see you know, what uh, disability it is. So you can see it there. It's a little fuzzy. But um, then on the back, it has, you know, I have auditory processing disorder, APD. So easy enough. So this is what um, you can purchase at their site. And um, it, you know, it's used in a lot of airports, some hotels and other places. So it's really spreading. And I think you know, it identifies you with an with a invisible disability if you don't want to say anything. Now, true that we don't have to talk about our disability, but I think in this case, you really want to alert staff that you are hearing impaired, you're going to be asking for repeats, or you're completely deaf, and you need it all in writing. Because obviously, they're not going to have a sign language interpreter, and you could be waiting forever for a sign language interpreter if they need to get one. I don't know how the deaf community handles that but um, in airports. But truly, um, this has helped me a little bit. You know, and They notice it right away, and it's like, oh, there's another disability that I need to pay attention to. So that, has, that is pretty new. It started in 2017 in Europe. I wanna, I wanna say, no, it's not Italy, not, not Germany. I'll look it up and I'll put it down below. <laughs> but I think it's a good idea. You know, if someone has a heart condition or other issues, they can't walk fast or, you know, need to walk with a cane or a walker or whatever it might be. So uh, so that's, that's one of my tips is to let people know right away that you're hearing impaired. The other thing that might help you if you don't want to talk about your disability is to get one of these. And, it does and what's really important for you to know is that the ADA doesn't quite apply in airports. What applies is the air let me look at it here because 
I forget sometimes the Air Carrier Access Act. So that's what gives us the support we need in, in, in terms of our disability. So that's really important to know. So the other thing is um, they are putting in hearing loops. They are putting in Bluetooth-ish uh, technology, but I haven't tested. I haven't used any of that technology yet. Um, I think in the, in the desks, when you go up to the uh, desk to talk to someone, there might be a hearing loop there, but not in the whole entire airport. So really important. So here's another tip, which you already probably know, that if you are, you use hearing aids, you use cochlear implants, we don't have to take them off at the airport. We don't have to take them off. Don't take them off at the airport. <laughs> you won't be able to hear anything. Um, but you don't have to take them off at the, uh, at the airplane, is what I wanted to say. Uh, so even cochlear implants, you don't have to take them off. You don't have to turn them off either because they don't interfere with the electronics in the plane. So don't worry about that. Um, if you are traveling, you know, just remember, take your batteries, take, up, uh, take disposable batteries, take your charger, take all your cords, <laughs> so any of that, and keep it in your carry-on you know, we all know about luggage and luggage getting lost. So you want to keep any, any apparatuses that have to do with your hearing aids and keep them with you uh, because you don't want that getting lost. Those are things that are very expensive and are hard to replace. So keep them in your carry-on. Um, putting hearing aids on the, now, putting hearing aids, if you had some extra ones or whatever, Putting them on the com conveyor belt um, might cause, there might be some static electricity and could wipe out your program. So you really want to be careful if you're carrying out, uh, carrying some hear extra hearing aids or um, the uh, cochlear implant processors, you don't want those directly on the conveyor be belt when you're going through security, that's what I meant. Uh, so, you know, don't worry. You don't have to take them off. You don't have to do anything if you're going through security. But do identify yourself as hearing impaired so that when they're asking you questions, if they pull you aside especially, you know, identify yourself as hearing impaired. You might have to ask um, for them to repeat, and they'll be fine with that. Uh, <laughs> I can tell a little story here. I was going through the airport after a hearing loss conference and there was a whole line of us with cochlear implants because we kind of got together we were talking and we just ended up in the same place in the same line and as we were going through the line um, one of us got pulled aside because there's a lot of us and of course they're gonna you know pull some people aside and they asked her to take out take off her cochlear <laughs> processors and we were all waving, no, 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 don't take them off, don't take them off, she's deaf. <laughs> so <laughs> we made a lot of noise. But we were also signaling her, don't take them off. Let them know that you are um, deaf and you need that to hear, so you can't take them off. So, and according to the rules of the ACAA, they don't have to take them off. So that's, that's really important. And if you have someone who is new, um, they're going to, you know, not sure what to do with that. And so just ask for their supervisor. You can take them off because you won't be able to understand or hear what they're saying. So that's really important to keep that present. The ACAA in there, it says, you know, people with Hearing loss do not have to remove their um, hearing aids or their processors from their cochlear implants. So, and again, the ADA is not the one that we use for the airports or the airlines. It's the ACAA. So, and the DOT might have some regulations, but the ACAA is the one that um, has the rules and regulations that protect us as we're going through the airport. Uh, that might sound uh, sound a little strange, but that's what it is. Um, 
because the airport, I guess, you know, you're going out of the country or going across the country. So they want rules and regulations that cover us from A to B. Um, what else? In the airplane, uh, you know, once we've done the drinks and that whole thing, I'll let them know, oh, I'm hearing impaired. <laughs> once I said I'm deaf, once I said I'm deaf, and, and truly I am. Uh, but with the cochlear implants, I can hear, you know, some conversation. Uh, so she was, the um, stewardess was, <laughs> she was very cute because she was talking about the food and the drinks and, and which one I wanted. So she did it like she was a model <laughs> and showing me the sodas. <laughs> she took out the sandwiches and showed me the sandwiches. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> And I thanked her. <laughs> I just wanted a soda. <laughs> so, but they will do, do that, you know, uh, to let you know they'll they'll be more uh, they'll demonstrate rather than than speak. <laughs> so, <laughs> but she did in such a model way. <laughs> she <laughs> she was pretty funny. <laughs> but anyway. So the newest, the newest, newest thing I have is is the um, sunflower uh, lanyard and the um, ID. Don't purchase these anywhere else other than the Hidden Disabilities uh, website. Some have tried to counterfeit, uh, but you really want to go directly to Hidden Disabilities to purchase the lanyard and the ID because the the employees have been trained on what it looks like and what to look for. So um, I don't have any more tips other than don't forget any of your hearing tools like the recharger, uh, disposable batteries, uh, all that kind of stuff. If you have both, if you have recharging and disposable, my processor does. So I always, you know, put that in my carry-on so it doesn't disappear in my luggage. <laughs> my luggage doesn't show up. Um, but truly, uh, the airport is one place where you do want to identify yourself always as hearing impaired so that the staff uh, will work with you and repeat without um, feeling annoyed. <laughs> so <laughs> and you might say, hey, Lisa, why are you wearing you know, your visor? And it's like, in the morning, I have tons of sun that comes into my face and I can't I can't see the camera I can't see you <laughs> so <laughs> so I have to wear something to cover my face a little bit so I I don't go blind uh <laughs> I'm already deaf <laughs> so anyway just check your list check it twice um uh, make sure you don't forget anything put it in your carry-on identify yourself when you're at the airport so that um, people can help you out. And when you're, when you're walking through the airport, the other thing is for you to be careful because there are carts and other things going by and you don't want to get hit. <laughs> I usually walk at the very left side of, of the, you know, the walk space uh, because I don't want to get hit. Uh, by any kind of carts because I, I won't, with all the noise, I will not hear them beeping. I will not hear them coming. So that's another thing you want to kind of train yourself if you go through airports to walk on the left side so that you don't run into those uh, carts. Or wheelchair users because we're, we're also going down the middle uh, to get enough space to do what we need to do. All right, well, those are my experiences. If you have any that you would like to share and any recommendations you have for going through airports and flying, uh, pl please feel free to post it down below. Uh, stories, I'm sure, abound <laughs> among us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sure. And, you know, post them down below and that will help the rest of us or give us a little laugh. All right. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.